Hello beautiful family, it's Stephen here, it's Thursday the 11th of August in the year 2022 and always as I start my video I always tell the gospel of how you can be saved with everlasting life. The only way you can be saved with everlasting life and granted a place in heaven and have your name written in the book of life is by believing the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because the Bible is the holy word of God. It tells us that we have all sinned. We all fall short of the glory of God me included the bible says though that the wages or the penalty of sin is death but the free gift of god which according to the bible god wants it to give it to everyone is everlasting life that's the free gift of god everlasting life to anyone everyone that believes no matter what you have done no matter how unworthy you think you are feeling right now, and you think he what he what accepts me. Well, have you tried? Have you tried? Because if you go to him in truth, he will Jesus has promised he will not turn anyone away who comes to him. All God is asking of you is not it's not about religion, it's not about going to church every Sunday. Salvation is, is not about that. Your salvation comes when you believe the gospel so I've told you that all have sinned but we've all broken God's commandments and if any man says that he has no sin he deceives himself and the truth is not in him so but the wages the penalty the the end the reward of sin is death but the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord who died on the cross? This is the gospel. Who died on the cross? Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died on the cross for all our sins. He shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sin. And it's your lifetime of sin when you believe. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day. And when you believe that in your heart and you call upon Jesus, you will be saved. You'll be sealed with Holy Spirit, meaning you'll never lose your salvation. No matter how many times you fall, sin, whatever, you belong to God. He has purchased you. You're his. And there's nothing, nothing that can take you out of his hands. You can't take yourself out of his hand. That's how powerful the Holy Spirit is when he seals you. So believe the gospel, please, if you haven't already, because I'm, I'm coming on here to warn you. This, this, this might be a, a last warning, because um, I never know when it's going to be the last video, because all the Christians around the world, if you're new to this channel, I'll let you know that all Christians around the world are looking and waiting for Jesus. We know that Jesus is coming. We are looking for our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour Jesus Christ Titus 2 13 in the Bible that's where it is so we're looking for the Lord Jesus he's not gonna touch down on the earth no the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus this is what is commonly referred to as the rapture Although rapture is not in the Bible, the word rapture, um, but the word caught up is hapato from the Greek. So that's the Greek word for rapture. Rapture comes from the Latin Bible. I think it's rapturos. So, and we have just used um, rapture instead of rapt rapturo or rap rapture or whatever. We, it's rapture. This is about to take place any moment 
we are in the season for this to happen because G Jesus said he was talking to his disciples about all these terrible things that are coming on the world earthquakes um, the sea the sea tossing and going crazy um, people the love of many growing cold um, pe men 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 shall be lovers of their own selves and and Jesus described all these beginning of sorrows that shall happen before the great tribulation the birth pains we call them the birth pains before the baby is brought forth well it's happening right now all over the world if you take a look take a look um, subscribe to some of these channels that show you what mainstream media won't show you with what is happening with the flooding and the fires and and all the rest of it and the uprisings everywhere around the world is just off the charts the, the spiritual attacks are off the charts they really are the spiritual attacks on the body of Christ and as the body of Christ we are all watching and expecting the Lord now now is the time we are expecting him when I say now it could be this minute but when I say now, I mean now is the season, now is the time for the Lord to come. And he will. He's coming. So if you're going through struggle or affliction, just hang in there. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. In fact, today I just come on to tell you really that um, you know you saw me preaching in, in, in Leeds yesterday. I, I really enjoyed it. I really did because um, because of your prayers guys I thank you all for praying for me because every little prayer from every one of you God God is answering as I'm doing doing the preaching and and I, I feel so close to God and walking in the spirit and um, it's 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 when I I feel the fire of the Holy Ghost upon me that I uh, I preach so so when you when you pray for me guys ask god to fire me up in the holy ghost because without him i can't do anything i wouldn't be able to stand there on my own without him without him i wouldn't be able to speak boldly like like i do without without jesus christ who's in me jesus christ is in every single one of his children of his sheep and he's coming for us at any moment now it's a pre-tribulation rapture uh, I've looked deep into it I've looked I mean I used to be a, a post last trumpet um, person until I realized that the rapture of the uh, uh, the, trump, the trumpet from the rapture is God the trumpet of God and the rev the, the one in Revelation is blown by angels so when you make that distinction you realize flipping heck it's not talking about the last trumpet of uh, Revelation no 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 this is the last trump of God with the it must be the last trump of God I, I, I think it, yeah it will be because it says that the last trump we will be changed and this corruptible body will put on incorruption and this mortal body will put on immortality that means we'll never die we won't feel pain we'll be able to jump up in the air and spin around I, I, I just know because I've seen visions of me doing that very thing and God has over the years he's had he's let me have glimpses of paradise and and it's so beautiful I mean it's beautiful down here but it's nothing compared to how it is up there it's just I mean what God has shown me is just beautiful I I, I, I was taken up there and um, I was just walking walking along and I met a young man with a loincloth around his waist and he took me on a tour of paradise and it was beautiful I, I'm not gonna tell you stories I've told it before but it was so beautiful so guys, all of you who are in Jesus Christ, um, 
look up, look up, because our redemption is upon us any moment. And I want to encourage you. I, I want, I, I'm, let me pray. Dear loving Heavenly Father, we give you all the glory, Lord God, because you are God and you are wonderful, Lord. You do amazing things and we thank you and bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Lord, that everybody will be blessed. Let, every, let nobody who gets to the end of the vi video, Lord God, be not blessed. Lord, every single person will be blessed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed and kept, Lord Jesus, in thine perfect love, which casts out fear. Jesus' perfect love casts out fear. So pour it out upon them, Lord God. Make your glorious face shine upon them. And be gracious unto them all. Lift up the strength, the health, the beauty and power of your countenance upon them. And give them peace which passeth knowledge, which passes all understanding in the name of Jesus. Fill them with joy. Confirm to them that you are indeed about to come in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank you that you will answer this prayer. Somebody's, somebody's got a bad leg. That's what I just heard. Somebody's got a bad leg. Well, Lord, I pray heal that person who's got a bad leg. And anybody else who's suffering from anything whatsoever, I pray that you'd strengthen their hearts. Strengthen out of everybody's heart anyway, but the people who are sick, strengthen their hearts to get through this sickness and take this sickness off them. Disease, illness, whatever it is, lift it off them in the name of Jesus Christ. For your glory's sake, dear Father, in your beautiful name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, guys. Whew. It's really hot today. It's supposed to be hotter tomorrow, I've just been told. And, uh, well, tomorrow I'm going, I've decided I'm going to a place, well, I'm going to try uh, to go to Dewsbury. It's a bit further than Leeds, but I think I'm going to check the population first, make sure it's a reasonable population. It's, like, it's I think it's Dewsbury Town. I don't think it's quite as big as Leeds, but it's, I've never been there before anyway, so... And I just, I just saw it written on one of the tr trains, train times. I thought, I looked where it was in location to Leeds, and it's, and it's quite close to Leeds, not, not that far. So I'm going to go there and preach the gospel there because I've never been there. So, Dewsbury, if you live in Dewsbury in the UK, um, and you would like to hand out gospel tracts as I preach with my big speaker then uh, go into the centre of town or email me, put it in the comment section or something, and, uh, and we can arrange to meet in Dewsbury, the UK. As far as I know, there's quite a large Muslim population there. Listen to this. I, do you know what happened yesterday? I, I believe there was many salvations yesterday. Even on the way back, I got talking to a young Muslim lad. He was, he was laid on a bench, like lying down. And I, I asked him, I said, is this the platform for, for York, York? And I got talking to him and anyway, I gave him the gospel. I gave him one of the gospel tracks. And he was actually on the wrong platform in the end, he found out. And he, and he had to run to, away from me to go to another one but his whole countenance had changed and he looked and he looked he looked shining maybe he'd believed because I told him the gospel I said he started going on about Islam and I said well there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved it's Jesus Christ so that's what I preach on the street you get saved I try to I try, try to make people understand that it's not because we've been taught by churches, by false teachers, that we have to earn, by doing good works, our salvation. 
but it's not true. You don't earn your way to heaven. You believe your way to heaven, right? You believe that Jesus died on the cross for you and you know it's true. You know it, all of it's true that he rose again from the dead. When you know that he did that for you and you call upon him, I said, come into my life, Lord Jesus. He did. He showed me how much he loved me and I cried and cried and cried. And, but now I'm sealed. Now, life is more bearable. I've got hope now, a living hope inside me. Hope, I'm hoping that Jesus, Jesus is coming at any moment now. And I don't care about mockers and scoffers, you know. I see them in the comment section. People say stuff like, oh, they've been saying that for years, for the last few hundred years. Well, how do they know? Were they there a few hundred years ago? You know? Um, but I can, I can, I've, I've thought about things like in World War II, like Christians who were watching might have thought that Hitler was the Antichrist. I mean, he, he, he is a pattern of Antichrist, he is a figure, and he's definitely Antichrist, but um, he's not the Antichrist. Uh, but we will be removed before the Antichrist and the Great Tribulation begins. So rest assured, don't think that you're going through the Great Tribulation because you're not. If you're born again, you're going to be taken up at any moment in, in the rapture. So be glad. Be glad. Whatever pain you're going through, I've got pain all over my body. But I, you know what? I'm not that bothered because I know very soon I'm going to get a new body. We're all going to get new bodies. Uh, brand new bodies. You know what? Um, you know I stick those stickers. I've got these stickers in my bag. Uh, hold on, let me get one out. And I've stuck them all over this town. Right, so yesterday I was just about to put one on uh, on the bridge. Oh, there's, a, there's a bridge down there. Just about to put one on the bridge. And, and this man, uh, a fit, dressed in official clothing, came up to me looking very angry. And he said, he said, you've got to stop doing that, like that. And he said, he said, I shouted at you from, from my car yesterday, and you didn't listen. I said, I said to him, I said, I, I thought you were just an angry man. Um, I, I, I said to him, I thought you were angry and you hated Jesus, like this. And um, anyway, he, he, he went on. He, he said, he said, if there's for example 30 of those stickers lying around well you can be fined £1,000 for each of those stickers so you will have to pay the government £30,000 for putting 30 stickers up on lampposts you know it's not bothering anybody I don't, I don't stick them on people's windscreens and stupid things like that no I put them in places like this look where people can see where it's causing no harm. My gosh, I've, I've put so many on that lamppost that uh, Andrea must have put some on there as well. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get off. Uh, but I'm going to Dewsbury tomorrow um, in the morning. So as usual, I'll, I'll, I'll come on. I'll ask you guys for prayer. I couldn't do it without you guys. I thank you all for your prayers. Please pray for me, guys. I love it when you pray for me. I feel so blessed when you pray for me. And, uh, and your support as well. That money goes towards my train fare. Uh, I buy more Bibles. I, 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 I help homeless people out. Um, I don't like showing you me giving. giving. I, don't want to, I, I don't like to tell people... I mean, Jesus said, don't tell your left hand what your right hand's doing. When you, when you give, you give it in secret. You know, you give and you, and you don't boast about giving. Otherwise, you lose your reward in heaven. Well, I know that and I don't boast about it. The only time I might bring it up is as an example for, for others to follow. That's all. Um, no. So, 
I don't do that. And somebody commented, I didn't, I didn't know whether they were talking to me or just in general, so I didn't take the comment down, but it was a bit strict and a bit, you know. Listen, some people are making it sound so difficult to get into the kingdom of God, into heaven. God has not made it difficult. It's men. Just like the Bible says, they twist the scriptures and use them for their own wicked means. And that's what they do. That's what they're doing. Because they, they, they've fallen from grace or were never in grace. Because when you're born again, you want everyone to be saved. You don't write a list of things that they must do to get saved because there's only one thing and that is that you believe in your heart the truth of the gospel the death burial resurrection of Jesus and you're not ashamed to say Jesus I need you come into my life Lord Jesus forgive my sins come into my life and he will I promise you he will well he's promised he's promised he'll accept you no matter what you've done okay so I just wanted to remind you that and I'm um, going to Dewsbury tomorrow um, I really could do with your prayers I, as far as I know it's a, a, a big po uh, Muslim population although the funny thing is uh, I haven't had much trouble from Muslims I was nearly attacked by a gang of youths once but um, God sent a, a, a big family of other people to help me to stop stop it so that was good I can't stand violence I hate violence it's because I've 